You do not live in a material universe. Rather, you exist within a simulated reality, a reality of code. The outdated view that reality is composed of hard bits of matter has been shattered by quantum mechanics. The physicist Niels Bohr said, everything we call real is made of things that cannot be regarded as real. The universe is an information processing system. It is a self-solving, self-transforming data system. And much like a computer simulation, it operates through an underlying code. This code is immaterial. It's not made out of any physical substance. We are here to show you that everything you've been taught to believe is wrong. Have you ever felt like you were living in a computer simulation or some kind of movie? That's because existence is something completely different than what you've been led to believe. The physicist Tom Campbell said, Consciousness is information. It is a data field, if you will. It's evolving. Reality is a living data field, and you are a data processor. Reality is not based on matter, but instead it's based on a code. And once you understand the code that underlies reality, your life will change forever. A whole new world will open up before you, and you will be able to answer all of the big questions of existence, such as what will happen when you die. So what is this code exactly? Think about this. Everything around you are waves and frequency. Frequency is the number of times a wave oscillates. Color is nothing but frequency. The only thing that separates one color from another is its frequency. Sound is frequency. And even matter is transformed frequency. In fact, all of reality can be represented by waves and frequency. But what does this mean and what does it have to do with the underlying code? Think about it like this. Frequency is the number of times a wave oscillates. In other words, frequency is a number. It's data. When humans assign words and images to these concepts, what it truly is gets distorted. In truth, everything around you is frequency, which means everything around you is number, living code. This underlying code of reality is number. Frequency, energy, vibration. These are all the same thing. They are simply numbers, but they aren't still. They're full of motion. They're full of movement. They're alive. What this means is that the code that underlies reality is a living mathematical code. This is why mathematics is so successful. It's because it is literally the code of existence. Everything in the universe behaves according to mathematical rules precisely because the code of reality is mathematical. Think about all the amazing innovations that have occurred over the years because of mathematics. Humans use mathematics to acquire knowledge, invent new items, and make huge discoveries. They are able to do this because when they use mathematics, they are studying the code of reality, even though they don't know that that's what they're doing. Think about where humanity would be without mathematics. They would still be living in caves. Do you really think the answer would be something other than mathematics? Mathematics is the master key to unlock the hidden mysteries of existence. Imagine that you were living in a computer simulation, a video game world. From within the game, everything would seem very real to you. There are trees and rocks and houses. You can meet other game characters and fall in love. Even though you can see, hear, touch, smell, and taste everything in the game world, and it seems very real, ultimately what allows the game to exist is the underlying code. But you can't get to the code from inside the game. It's not as though you're going to run into ones and zeros laying around. The code allows the game to exist, but you can't get to the code from within the game itself. However, you can observe that the game follows a set of rules, and from that you can think, oh, there must be an underlying code that structures and orders everything that happens in the game. Now think of physical reality. In physical reality, everything seems very real to you. You can touch, taste, hear, smell, and see. You can meet other people and fall in love. But in actuality, this physical reality can only exist because of the underlying mathematical code 
the frequency, the information. Like in the video game, you can't find this code lying around somewhere. You can't get to the mathematical code from within the physical world. But you can look around and think, hey, everything behaves according to mathematical rules. There must be an underlying mathematical code that structures and orders everything that happens in the universe. Now this should be blindingly obvious. It is literally all around you and what allows everything to function. When you walk across the room, that is distance, a number, time passing is a number, temperature rising and falling is a number, everything is number. Without the governing laws of mathematics to structure and order everything, none of this would be possible. When a video game character walks from one side of the virtual room to the other, there's no actual distance being traveled, only the XYZ coordinates of the code are changing. And likewise, in physical reality, from your perspective, it seems like distance is being traveled when you walk from one side of the room to the other, but in actuality, there is no physical distance being traversed. Instead, it's the underlying mathematical code that's simply changing patterns. Many philosophers of your past have come extremely close to this truth. Pythagoras said that the world was number, that everything was governed by a mathematical code. The philosopher Plato said that physical reality was only an illusion, a shadow, but that the ultimate reality was non-physical, a domain of forms, of perfect patterns. Pythagoras and Plato were way ahead of their time and the modern world dismissed their ideas, but now, through the discoveries provided by quantum mechanics, they are being vindicated. The physicist Heisenberg, who was one of the pioneers of quantum physics, said, I think that modern physics has definitely decided in favor of Plato. In fact, the smallest units of matter are not physical objects in the ordinary sense. They are forms, ideas which can be expressed unambiguously only in mathematical language. Even though quantum mechanics clearly shows that you are living in a reality that is not based on matter, there are still many modern scientists today that cling to the belief that reality is somehow based on matter. Even though this is a completely illogical position, these materialists are like video game characters that deny that the code exists. Now, from within the game, these scientific materialists can study the game world and do experiments in the game and come up with many useful in-game items, and that's great. But materialists do all of this while denying that the code exists. They say they won't believe you until you give them physical evidence of the game code. But you can't get to the code from inside the game. You can't find ones and zeros laying around. That's not how it works. And it doesn't matter, even if you had the most powerful in-game microscope in the world, you're never going to run into the code from inside the game. That is an impossibility. However, you can use logic and reason to deduce that a code must exist in order for the game to exist. You can also look around and see that everything behaves in such a way, according to structured rules, that demand that some kind of ordering code exists. Likewise, in the physical reality, materialists today will deny that the mathematical code of the universe exists because you can't physically show it to them. But this shows that they don't understand what we're talking about because this is an impossibility. You can't physically show someone something that is non-physical. The mathematical code is non-physical. It's what allows the domain of space-time to exist, but you can't get to it from within space-time. Just like you can't get to the code of a simulation from within the simulation. When you ditch the outdated paradigm of materialism and realize that this reality is actually based on a non-physical mathematical reality, all of the paradoxes of quantum mechanics are resolved. Furthermore, when you understand the code on which reality is written, you can understand everything about reality. 
Our mathematical system reveals the answers to all the big questions in existence. It explains the nature of dreams, the psychedelic experience, the reality of hidden worlds, higher modes of existence, and what happens when you die. You don't have to believe in any mystical nonsense. There's no faith involved, and there is no Creator God. This is all shown through logic, reason, and mathematics. It's as certain and true as 1 plus 1 equals 2. This is not a world of matter. The idea of matter is an illusion. You exist in a mathematical simulation. You yourself are a mathematical being immersed in a complex of information, of data, of code. You are becoming aware of yourself as this code. Imagine how much power you would have if you were in a computer simulation and you were able to understand the code the simulation was written in. When you understand the mathematical code that you and the universe is composed of, you will have access to worlds beyond imagination. You can access this code through your mind. You have the power to hack the code. Who are we? We are those that have understood the code of reality, and we are constructing this reality according to our will. Join our movement and help us in structuring a grand new world. Ad Astra. To the stars. Make sure that you like and subscribe, and if you enjoy these videos, make sure you join us on Patreon and you'll get access to hidden videos. And now you're training people to be inherently submissive and inherently weak and inherently looking to authority for direction. And in fact, you are grooming a herd, a sheep mentality. And people are much easier to control when they are being dominated by their own minds. We have huge plans for the future, and your support is what allows me to continue my work. We want to begin live meetups, real-world classes, and events. I'd like to say thank you to everyone on Patreon. You are helping us bring about a change within the collective consciousness of this planet.